Today's show is sponsored by Microjig. Work safer. Work smarter. Want an easy way to strengthen up minor corners on picture frames and boxes? Check it. This is the second video in a multi-part series on picture frame making. You can find other videos in the links down below. This here is a real simple and easy to make jig that rides along your table saw fence and allows you to cut splines in picture frames. Just using glue on the mitered corners may seem good enough, but over time, as the wood expands and contracts with the seasons, the joints will eventually break. And that's why you need splines. Unlike a lot of spline jigs, this rides along the fence and not the miter slot, which means you can place the splines anywhere you want and cut even wider splines by moving the fence and making multiple passes. Setting the blade height is easy since the corner sits just a hair above the table and the two guides easily clear the blade. Let's get started. I'll measure the height of my fence and cut two pieces of Baltic birch plywood to that measurement. Then. I'll measure the width of the two pieces and the fence and cut the top piece on the table saw. I'll attach the top piece by lightly clamping the two side pieces to the fence and then glue and screw it together. Making sure it slides nicely along the fence, I'll then attach the support board to the assembly. You'll want to make sure it's square to the table before gluing it up. You can use any material you like, but here I'm using MDF that'll be used to hold the picture frame in place. Although this step is not necessary, I'm cutting 45 degree miters on the ends, as you'll see why shortly. I'll then clamp down a drafting triangle to the support board and use a speed square to make sure it's at 45 degrees. The drafting triangle is then used as a guide for our two MDF pieces. The 45 degree angles we cut earlier align with the edges of the board. Again, not necessary. After the MDF is clamped down, I can then remove my drafting triangle, and once everything dries, we're all set to cut some splines. Setting the blade height is just a matter of setting the picture frame in the jig and raising the blade to the desired height. I then slide the fence over and visually align the blade to the center of the frame. I suggest clamping the frame to the jig as you run it over the blade. I like to shut the saw off between every cut, just to be safe, as I don't like handling material over a spinning blade. Over at the bandsaw, I then cut off the splines and glue them in place. A nice fit, and doesn't need to be too snug, no clamps necessary. And when they dry, I just sand them down flush. You can also use this jig to cut spline keys for boxes using the exact same steps. I suggest using a full curved blade with a flat grind. A thin curved blade will work just fine, and if your blade doesn't leave a flat bottom cut, don't worry about it too much. That tiny little gap may not even be noticeable, and it can always be filled with sawdust and glue. Well, thanks for watching. This is a multi-part series in picture frame making, and I encourage you to check out these other links. Well, that's it. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.